Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how I do uh, peekaboos on dark hair. Matrix is the line I tend to use a lot and also Redken for my liners. As we're going to be using Orange Alert. Also be using Red Hot. Since she is about a level 3 and she does have color already, I'm going to be using 40 developer. I'm going to do mid shaft stand and I'll show you guys the technique. She's also going to be using the shampoo color Extend Magnetics by Matrix when she rinses out. And I'll be using the Matrix lightener with a Matrix 40 developer. And these are just regular foils that we get at the professional hair store. And then I have my bowl, I have my brush, and I have my comb. All right guys, let's get started. Here is our model. So she has previous hair, and this is a semi demi color we did. It was, I believe, orchid if I'm not mistaken. I have a video on that already, and I will link it down below. What we're gonna be doing is just giving her about five panels to the side, and we're gonna peek a them. So I will show you guys the subsection that we're doing after, but this is our starting level. Perfect, and that other side. And then again, I'm gonna section our hair off into two, two sections. Gonna braid the back, cause we're not gonna focus on this, we're just doing peekaboos. And then we're gonna angle them up, but I will show you guys before I get started. This is the way I subsectioned her, and I'm gonna work my way up. I was thinking of five foils, but I might do a little bit more because my foils are gonna be half an inch. And this is what we're not gonna touch. You can see her previous hair that's growing out. She has, she has about a good inch and a half of routage. So all that is not gonna be touched. And then this side as well. So you can see, I just brightened up the light. This is her old color that I was telling you guys about. So we're gonna section up this way. So her side on this, on her left side is heavier and her right side is a little bit um, lower. So her parting's here. So I'm gonna do about five panels here and way more panels over here. But look up sister. But this is how I basically subsection just to do peep kaboos on this side. Okay, so I forgot to mention that I'm not going all the way to her root. This is just the first foil. I'm gonna go on the sides because it's closer to her face. I'm just gonna do about two, well, an inch and a half away. And then as I go higher, I'm gonna do mid shafts down just because this is for the developer. And of course it's gonna open the hair shaft, cuticle, whatever you wanna call it, very wide and really dry out her hair. So the point is just to do kind of mid shafts down, whatever's gonna show when she wears her hair down. So um, again, we're just, angling them this way here it is you did one two three four five on this side angling upward like i told you and i did half of an inch half of a half so a quarter is what we foiled and then i took this all still away and then here is the other side well hopefully you guys can see that let me block that um and we did about seven to eight and again low because we want to do mid shots down as far as processing time Lightener doesn't have a time. I just keep checking it and checking it until I get the desired color. But as you guys can see, that one's already taking out her previous color. But I always check the first one that I put. It's during the process, it's taking out all the red that she used to have. It took me about 20 minutes to foil these, but there it goes and it's lifting. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on that and I'll show you guys after I'm done with the desired um, lightener. I'm gonna scrub it with purple shampoo to take off the brassiness. And I'll show you what purple shampoo I'm using. And then we will show you guys the desired color. Alrighty, so this is the results after bleaching her hair with 40 volume. I know you guys might be thinking, oh my goodness, look at these lines of demarcation. But keep in mind, this is going to lay over it. And I'm also going to tone it with the desired color color and over here oh my goodness that crazy line yeah again this is gonna go over it's gonna cover it and it's going to be colored I apply the bleach with mid shafts maybe an inch away from the ends she's gonna also get a haircut I did not do the ends because bleach expands and with that the ends ended up going blonde anyways i did fold it in to the foil but this the lighting doesn't do it justice 
There you go, you guys can see it. But what I was looking for is an even color. Reason being is when I put that toner in, the toner's gonna come out nice and even. Again, that line of demarcation, don't worry about it. I'll show you guys when I split her hair how it's going to change. So I use the generic value products conditioning shampoo, shimmer lights. We use this in cosmetology school 11 years ago. This you can easily get at Sally's Beauty Supply for like five bucks. This stuff is amazing and this is a purple shampoo. It cancels out brassiness. And if you guys want to cancel out yellow, you use the blue shampoo. But this stuff is amazing. So we're going to start with that. And after, I went ahead and... Then after that, I went ahead and used this guy on her. So this is the One United by Redkin. And it's protecting, smoothing, all that good stuff. Because again, obviously her hair is damaged from the bleach, so we did this to protect it. Some people say don't put conditioner or anything before you put the color because it slips out. I sprayed very, very, very little of this stuff, combed it through, blue dry it, and then now we are going to apply the color. So again, these are the two products, and then I will show you guys the two products, or actually the few products that she's gonna have to be using to maintain her color. Keep in mind, orange and red are like one of the number one fading colors, so she is gonna be touching it up a lot, but these are the two colors I did after the bleaching process. Okay, I will see you guys for the color application. Fade into a red, and you guys can see it is currently processing. So this sits usually for about 25 to 30 minutes, but we're gonna go ahead and do 35 minutes minutes semi hey right, guys and ta-da yeah toss it toss it this is the finished look I ended up doing is doing a 6n which is a shade Q, and I will pop up a picture right here of the 6n that we did just to gloss the middle from her previous color that was like a greenish look or whatnot oh my gosh your red looks beautiful with the flowers actually this is where I was talking about see we were talking about the whole you know line 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 well look how nice and faded that looks there are still a few pieces like this but keep in mind she is not really gonna put her hair up all the time she wears it down and if she wears it up she'll braid it or she'll put it all in a ponytail which still conceals all of that so it looks really nice and faded so i did an ombre Oh, and I cannot believe how gorgeous it looks. Now this is her right side. Let me split that up for you guys. There you go. So it's that beautiful red ombre. So we did the orange atop and then it goes into the red. I also just basically trimmed it as well. We just took off half an inch of her ends. Her ends are nice and healthy. She has very, look straight. She has a very, very coarse hair. And I was just talking to her about it, how her hair strands are very thick and she has a lot of it. And this is how it looks when you see her through, well, when you see her in the front. Do you like it? When we do the peekaboos, you don't have to worry at all about regrowth because Hello, there's no regrowth. It's beautiful and silky and it just hides. So that's the beautiful part about having peekaboos. You can have these for a long time. And I will obviously record if we end up doing another color. So what we're gonna do is let this orange and red fade out as much as we can. We're maybe fill it, we might fill it all red, orange, whatever she decides. But if she does wanna switch up the color, I would have to definitely lighten her again to kind of take out the color that she has now, depending on what color she wants me to put in. But this is gorgeous, and this is how it looks. All right, sister, thank you so much for being my model. Until next time, guys, make sure to like the video. If you guys like videos like this, make sure to comment and subscribe. What else should we say? Happy holidays. Oh yeah, it's Christmas, as you can see in my background. All right, goodbye to my heart to yours, say bye. Adios.